Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Maine, which is in New England in the northeastern region, the very northeastern part of the United States. It's absolutely beautiful here. Maine is the lobster capital of the United States, one of the lobster capitals of the world. <laughs> <laughs> and so today we're gonna go on an ultimate lobster tour of Maine. We're gonna eat boiled lobsters, we're gonna eat lobster rolls, we're gonna go up the coast, we're gonna go to a number of different places. I'm gonna share with you all of the incredible lobsters and all of the incredible scenery. I'm so excited to be here. Welcome to Georgetown, Maine. This is absolutely picture perfect, spectacularly beautiful, on the coast, the smell of the sea breeze, and we are here specifically to come directly to Five Islands Lobster Company. A lobster boat has just come, they're unloading some of the fresh catch. Oh, these are soft shell lobsters and just, yeah, look at the size. Those claws are huge, oh man. Yeah, this is how fresh the lobster is that they serve here. Straight off the boat, straight to your lobster roll. <laughs> they said that you couldn't film, and then I went like this. How about now? They went, oh, okay. <laughs> you guys are serious. <laughs> And Jeffrey has this, it's not even a plate, that's a platter, Jeffrey, a lobster well, platter. Good news, because they got the lobster roll for mere humans, and then they have the big boy. There's cool. Ones in here. Wow, thank you. About how many pounds is, are these? That one's probably about three. Okay. Yeah, they, Is that the typical size? The biggest they get is about five pounds because they okay. have a minimum and a maximum for ah, keeping them. They all right. measure from the high socket to the back. Okay. It has to be at least three and a quarter inches and it can't exceed five. Oh, that's the, yeah, the lock. They toss them back. Uh, ah, those okay. are the bigger ones are the breeders, so they try to keep the population strong. So. Cool. Yeah. Is this a big boy bun? It is a big boy all bun. All right. There we are. Perfectly brown. Big boy? It is. All right. So, okay, lobster is boiled. It's boiled uh, in salt water right from our harbor here. And then it's then it's mixed with a little bit of mayonnaise and then into the, okay, cool. Cool, thank you very much. We ordered the big boy. It's called the big boy, which is their extra large lobster roll. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Beautiful. We got it. Oh my God. <laughs> Snacking first on these onion rings. Oh, they're not over battered. Exactly. And when it's like kind of half battered, yep. that's also a good sign too. Mm. Oh, so good. A little bit of pepper. That onion is sweet. Claw, tail, it's got it all. You have to part the potato chips. Is this even pick upable? <laughs> Oh man, you actually need two hands for this, Jeffrey. You need assistance? Let's we go. might need to sit down on the rock. Let's go. You have to cradle it. You have to support it with two hands. Okay, the only way to carry it with one hand is to cradle it down your arm. I love the ratio there. It's at least like five to one <laughs> in favor of the lobster. It's face sized. Face sized? That's so much lobster. It's so heavy. <laughs> yeah. And literally, you have to, to palm it to carry it. You could work out with this like barbells. <laughs> and what a location that just that makes a huge difference as well. All right, Jeffrey, cheers. we ready for the cheers going in. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. 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 oh, wow. <laughs> <That's ridiculous. laughs> Is it, um, 
lightly dressed. She told me the lobster is mixed with just a little bit of mayo. Tiny amount, which I like. Yeah, very light on the mayo. I do not want goopy lobster roll. And she also said that the, these are made with soft shell lobsters, right? Yeah. Again, boiled in seawater. I doubt there's any extra salt mm -hmm. added. That's just the natural seawater. The meat is so firm yet soft at the same time. It's so sweet. The mayonnaise is not overpowering. No. The bread is not even there for anything but to be able to hold it together. Yeah. There's a controversy about wow. lettuce. So I'm not going to decide it in my opinion today, but this has lettuce. Mm. What I love about their lobster is, yeah, you can really taste the sea. It's briny. It's that seawater that's bringing so much flavor to the already sweet lobster. The texture is firm and meaty. It's cool. It's not over mayonnaise. That is, it's so incredibly good. Oh, that claw. A totally different texture from the body. Their onion rings are spectacular here. Yeah. Lobster roll was incredible. And because they have both hard shell and soft shell, which is actually called a new shell lobsters here, we thought it's mandatory for us to taste the difference. So we're gonna order two more lobsters. They're gonna boil them right we're gonna see them as they boil them right now hot and fresh in salt water and we're gonna be able to compare the difference between the two i like the soft shells better just okay. because they're sweeter and more tenderer but there's less meat so there is that but i would prefer a new shell over a hard shell any day hard shells have their own perks too you know they can be really sweet but the bigger you go the worse condition the meat is i would say so this is a this is a hard shell this is a hard shell okay all right this one's better you can touch them. No, they're, they, one's crunchier than the other. Oh. <laughs> I just got sprayed. Don't worry. That is literally a, a lobster bathtub. So how long do those boil for? For like 15 minutes or so. This is it. Two more lobsters. Hard and soft shell, mayonnaise and butter. Who's gonna win? Two more lobsters. <laughs> soft shell, and this one is just completely rock solid, yeah. Break off the claw. Yep. And then let's do the, see if we can drink it. Remember that? So yeah. I think you break it, keeping this up. See the juice coming out? Oh. So you wanna break off the knuckle, and then we're gonna try to drink the claw juice. Mmm. Mm. 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 I've been eating lobsters all my life. Raw. And never did that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. That's like a little, it's almost <laughs> just increases your craving for it because you've got that salty, briny lobster. It's like a lobster soup in there. Oh, you still got more juice. Oh, here's, here's another move. Ying. <laughs> that is so pure. It's that ocean water right there in this lobster, which came out of that ocean. <laughs> that, you can taste the Atlantic in there. What we're gonna do is set aside the hard shell. We'll, tr we'll open the soft shell. That way, because definitely the best way to compare something is to take a bite right after each other. And then I'm gonna get the juice to pull. Okay, take off the... Pop that. Oh my God. Pop. Oh, definitely the soft shell feels juicier immediately. Oh man, maybe. Look, it's all... It's juicing out already. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> mm. 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 <clears throat> oh, my mouth is full. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I just drank a whole mouthful and it's still juicy. Whoa. Ooh. Look at that. You can break it with your can't fingers. can't do that with this one. Yeah. But you do have, you can see there's some empty space. Yeah, a lot less. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of empty space in there because of uh, the soft shell. 
Look at that. So that's what they also say about less meat in the, the soft shell. Look at that, it's just like a little window. It comes out, slides out. There we go. So there you have hard shell, which is still in the shell, more developed meat, and then we have the soft shell, which is just like a little straight up nugget of soft silky, is, soft. I don't know if it means anything, it's a little bit more red. Mm. Oh. oh wow. Absolutely nothing to complain about the nope. hard shell, that's for sure. Nope. It is sweet. Not sending it back. It is so sweet. It is muscular. Not hard by any stretch of the imagination, but it is muscular. Okay, soft. Here we go. Oh, wow. Soft shell is also more salty for sure, for me. It's more salty. It's more... It almost has like a little squeezy, a squeeziness. Is that, a, if I can make up a word, squeezy. I like the squishes better of the soft. Whereas the, the hard shell has more of that stringy, mm -hmm. almost crab-like. Nice and easy comes off. The you tamale. can see the tamale in there. Yeah, the green, so that's what some of the juice is too. So you squeeze, ready? Squeeze, which really matters on the hard shell. And then you. There it is. Oh, gel Slides out. out, nice. Yes. Slide. Oh, look at that. Okay. Start with the hard shell? All right. Definitely oh. chewier. Mm. But it's like a robust flavor mm. of lobster. Mm -hmm. It's concentrated. Soft shell? Oh, wow. Okay. For me, in the tail is where you can really taste the difference. Yeah, it's sweeter. so sweet, yeah. yeah and it's got better texture. It's so sweet and has that silky, you can almost feel your teeth squeaking, like that, that kind of texture to it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, okay, the salted butter, that contrasts the sweetness of the lobster. Oh, wow. That complements and doesn't overpower it. Wow. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Okay, final thoughts. This was a tough decision, but Jeffrey, what Soft are you? Soft shell in butter. So far, it's just been Jeffrey and I eating lobsters in Maine. Amazing, but I was wondering, how could we liven things up, Mark? Oh! oh. <laughs> I think these guys should join the party. What it's, do you guys think? Oh, it's cheat day eats. Woo. Yes. You I'd ready like to, to point out she's wearing, I think, I came, oh yeah. I came equipped. Look at that lobster shirt. Woo. You know she's this serious. Guy's Bay's Crab Meat and Lobster. It's kind of right along the highway and main road. They're famous, of course, for lobster, uh, but they also have crab here, and they have, oh, it's a lobster pound as well, so they have live lobsters. You could choose your lobsters. They have a variety of, of other seafood as well. Okay. Can you squeeze that? Gently with your fingers. Can we, can we, can we, so this one is that. You're not gonna hurt it, right there. Oh yeah, it's off, yeah? Yep. So here's the thing, we got here at 9 a.m. as soon as they open, but they don't start serving lobster rolls until 11 a.m. But they do, you can get steamed lobsters at this time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some lobsters, we're gonna get four lobsters, and then we're gonna build your own lobster roll because they have the rolls available, they have the seasoning, they have the lobsters, they just don't put them together for you until 11 a.m. We'll do it ourselves. How long do they boil for? 15 minutes. 15 minutes, and same for hard shell and same soft shell? Same for hard and soft. All right. <laughs> 15 minutes. Oh, it's just soft, I guess you can tell, right? You're gonna be able to tell pretty quickly when it's okay. soft, right? Okay. Now you got the heart of soft. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Got the crackers. Lobsters are ready, the rolls are ready. We just have to prepare ourselves. Yep. And they've given us these extremely convenient. I, oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do this technique where you break off the claw and then drink the juice, the natural juice from the lobster claw. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. And then you can pump it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's an entire mouthful of wow. salty, briny <laughs> lobster broth. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Cheers. Ooh, shaking hands. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to break down the lobsters for the lobster roll. Look off the tail. Oh, look at the juicy interior. That should be freed. I'm gonna make a lobster roll. We got the perfectly toasted rolls. I like it with just a little swipe of mayonnaise. Moist, but not overpowering. The lobster pile here. Wow. S stuff it in. Oh, with the roe at the top. Top it with a cloth. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'll go seasoning. A little bit of the special seasoning from Days, and then a little bit of butter on top. Cheers. Homemade lobster rolls. Oh, we were totally off. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, my God. Mm. oh, wow. Oh, that seasoning is. Yeah, the seasoning's really good. Something is good with that seasoning. Like a paprika, smoky, mm -hmm. salty yeah. flavor. Break up from these. Oh, it's so good. And then the lobster is so. Wow. Sweet and sweet. fresh. That was outstanding. I love the lobster bib with the lighthouse. Next up today on the New England Lobster Trail, we are at Red's Eats. This is possibly the most famous lobster shack in the world. Many people say they have the best lobster roll in the world. So we're in this town, which I think, oh man, I, oh man, I'm forgetting the name of the place right now, as I say, but something like Wicca, Wickaset or Wiscaset. I also have to mention that they serve what is one of the most, maybe the biggest, the most stuffed, the hugest lobster roll in Maine. Famous Reds Eats. Reds Eats, here we are. Here we are. Probably the most famous lobster shack in the world. And uh, it's a blazing hot day, so no one wants to stand in line. It is a <laughs> remarkably short line compared to other times that we've driven past. <laughs> That's true. Angie. Hi, Angie. So, um, four lobster rolls, a large onion ring, grilled chicken, and what else did you say? One whoopie pie. And blueberry, one blueberry, blueberry, blueberry and, and four, four waters. waters. Is that it? Sounds good. Great, right, awesome. Perfect. Something I like is that the Reds Eats Shack, it just has so much character. It's so incredibly iconic. Just the way it looks with the red panels, with the Reds Eats sign, with the tree that is built into the shack. Well, the shack is built around the tree. Wow. Lobster rolls are coming out soon, but they brought the onion rings first, which look incredible. I love it almost looks like, it's so crispy, it almost looks like pork skin. Oh yeah. That is an awesome onion ring. Nice. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So here's the story of what happened is that they have two things on the menu, the lobster roll, and then they have the, you can pay a little bit more for the vegetables. 275. But it doesn't actually say that it doesn't come without the bread, <laughs> without the roll. So it's like the carbless version of it. So we accidentally ordered the, the one with vegetables and it didn't, and then we saw it didn't come with a roll. 
so we got the whole pile of lobster, but then they have brought out the rolls on the side. So we're just gonna build it ourselves. I think it's better. We get Why to not? fill the lobster into the roll ourselves. A tiny amount of mayo just to keep it moist. The fistfuls of, whoa, it's really cold too. Fistfuls of lobster, and you can tell that it's a mix of tail and claw meat. First fistful of lobster goes in. Oh man, even one handful of lobster and it's full already. But you have to keep stuffing, you have to fill it all the way. That's so, that's an incredible amount of lobster, yeah. No that's lobster so much, behind. That is so much lobster, that's insane. I that has to be like two full lobsters. I thought I put it all in, then I found it, another claw. Just pile it. Oh man, that's a, it's a mountain of lobster. Got lemon. Thank you, a little lemon bit of, oh yeah, I'd love some lemon on that. Picking it up might be a mission. Oh, you built it in your palm. That was a great idea. The roll is just barely heavier than air, and yet it holds up quite well. Killed Six it lobsters with a pile here. On. That's the highest concentration of lobster to bun ever roll that we've Which seen is way before. To do it. I, I don't know. I guess I'll see in a minute. It's like but... the pyramids of lobster. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah. Oh I've got a whole tail in my mouth. Mm. Oh. Mm. I like that it's cold. Maybe it's so hot out. Very refreshing. Oh yeah. It's cold. It's juicy. Massive, massive chunks of lobster. I'm gonna drizzle on a little more butter. <laughs> you really taste the, the different textures between the claws and the tail. The claws just kind of melt in your mouth. The texture, the, the tail has a lot more muscularity to it. Pie. This is more Brian's kind of thing. So it does taste like, like a devil dog. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, it tastes like, like a devil dog. dog. Which is a classic main dessert. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So we have completed the legendary Reds Eats Lobster Roll. And? Jessica, what do you think? Not my favorite. A lot of lobster, which I love, but in general, the flavor wasn't there for me. Uh, it's entertaining. I get, I get why it's famous. You get a huge amount of lobster and a very little bit of roll, so it's a very good photo. You can kind of eat the lobster roll. You can pull it out. You can play with it. It's kind of like a lobster <laughs> you can roll play toy. with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It's, it's very entertaining to eat. It's yes. fun, and you can pick out chunks because they're so. I mean, it's just like incredibly overstuffed to the point where you can pick out chunks, dip them in, and then take a bite. But definitely, we have had better in Maine, and this is good though, but we have had better. Yeah, and I'd recommend it. So for sure, I, for sure. I go there, I go, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's fun. And it, fun. it is fun, yeah, it is fun. And the employees were wonderful. Yep, yeah, staff are amazing. Yummy, uh, pie. The whoopie oh. pie. The whoopie pie. And that is for sure the biggest single stuffed lobster roll that I've ever had and maybe ever will have. From here, we have one more lobster shack to go to, which is gonna be a little bit of a drive. But this next lobster shack that we're going to, I think recently it has been rated as the number one, the top of the top, the best lobster roll in Maine. But we're driving straight there next. It's a pretty far drive to get out here, and we're on this island. We're here to eat at a place called McLoon's Lobster Shack. It is a picture-perfect setting. The laid-backness, the natural beauty, the fresh air. And we just talked with them. They said that 
as opposed to boiling the lobsters, all of the lobsters for their rolls, all of the whole lobsters, they're all steamed. So that's a key difference in cooking, boiled or steamed. Here they're all steamed. My name's Gabby, and this is how we get our lobsters cool. here. We get them fresh from the wharf. Put it around, oh. and then you just pull it, okay. and it's gonna Pulling start up to come up from the ocean right there. The lobster, the lobster trap. Right trap. The wharf separates and goes through them. Sometimes there are two pounders, any anything, but these are our pound and a quarters right here. The lobstermen band their claws. Sometimes you get blue ones, if especially wow. like you see this tint here underneath. Sometimes yeah. their whole thing is blue. And so wow. that's really unique. Or every time you need to steam a batch, you grab them from yes, the we ocean. Do. Yeah. Steam so, them fresh and then put them back in the ocean. They always go back down there. Yeah. And, cool. Uh, Thank you for showing us. Yeah, thanks. Uh, okay. So, Very cool. So you're about to steam this lobster? Yeah. Goes into the steamer. Okay. Take it out. All right. The roll is fried perfectly. In goes a swipe of mayonnaise and then the, the steamed lobster goes in. Oh, that looks amazing. Hi. We're waiting on our lobster rolls, which should be coming out very soon. But in the meantime, we've got a little snack, grilled main clams. Oh, these are beautiful clams, the purple shell on the outside too. They are beautiful. Okay. Little works of art. Scoop it. Like Scoop it. All right. Cheers. In. Clams. Cheers. Clam jam. Oh, oh wow. I think the greatest clam I ever had. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I wasn't even expecting it to be that good. We should be eating sitting down so you don't fall down. Oh, so fresh. Sweet. What I like about it is it has almost a little bit of a, a bitter tinge to it, which just complements the sweetness of the clam. A little squeeze? Oh, yes. What's the worst That is that? insanely good clams. That smoky char off the grill. Yeah, the smoke kills it. It's just so good. Your butter. They're just like half cooked. They remain juicy, so fresh and just yep. that is complexity of flavor those are like maximum flavor clams after starting off with some clams we're going to have some clam chowder next before the lobster rolls it smells beautiful looks beautiful made fresh there's potatoes in there there's celery nailed it this has got to be good for your health <laughs> it's like has to be an elixir it's just so delicious Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hit the broth, no spoon. Okay. Mm. Oh, wow. The concentrated flavor of the clams, yet not overpowering. That creamy, wondrous soup. It's so warming. The potatoes, the starchiness of the potatoes is just melt into it. Are you on vacation? Yes. Oh, well, just, well <laughs> he's working. Visiting and eating. Another thing about this place is I love the random seating. There's picnic yeah. tables around. There's just chairs, lawn chairs around. Oh, we scored these rocking chairs. <laughs> rocking chairs. Oh, oh that's. I mean, I ever get up. Yeah. I don't think you could possibly create a more perfect environment for a lobster roll. Just from looking at the lobster rolls, you can tell they're shining, they're glistening. They almost look like they have constructed the perfect lo lobster roll. You can tell that when you pick it up, it's gonna hold its shape. You can tell that it's, it even feels good in the hands. And it's golden, look. Look at how the lobster is perfectly nestled in there. The bun, the roll, 
is perfectly golden crispy and it's shining. That is insane. Oh, I need to lean back in my rocking chair. That is the perfect contrast of buttery, crispy roll to cool, stringy, sweet lobster. That perfect balance. The mayonnaise is not overpowering, it's just a swipe. The lobster is served cool, not hot. Oh, wow. That, that combination, that contrast, that ratio, that is impressively outstanding and rated. Again, one of the best lobster rolls in all of Maine. They did say to rejuice it with some of the melted butter. <laughs> best lobster roll we've had so far. Oh wow, just with that little sprinkle of butter that even magnifies the flavor of the lobster. This is of the highest level of lobster roll. And we have had, this will be our first steamed lobster. We have had boiled lobsters. Oh, that's pretty good size too. Yeah. Oh, those beautiful. claws are heavy. Break off the knuckle and then drink the juice. Oh, yeah. So good. You can pull you off the, here. the finger. Yep. And usually some juice comes out of there too, which you can, oh, it's coming out fast. You gotta. Oh, perfect. And dip in the, little dip in the butter. <laughs> it's so juicy. Silky smooth, that one actually melts in your mouth. And the condensed flavor of the lobster. There's nothing I'd rather have in my mouth right now overlooking the sea in Maine. There's a simple point been made right here. I mean, we have to see if we what happens in the future, but if you have to choose between steamed and boiled, I think it's steamed, because the boiled toughens them up, it appears. And even if it's in seawater, that's nice. But this steamed is like heaven. Yeah. The yeah. texture, the I, flavor. Move so you know one. And boom. The hanging hanging tamale. <laughs> it's like an open mouth and a spoon and a scooper all at the same time. Look at that, look at that texture. It bounces. <laughs> the hint of bitterness from that tamale. Mmm. The stringiness of that. Oh, that is. That's one of the single best bites of lobster I've ever had that you could possibly ever have. Ah, this is truly a Maine lobster roll destination, a must visit when you're in Maine. And so that's gonna wrap up this first lobster and lobster roll tour of Maine. McLoon's, the best lobster roll I've ever had, one of the best lobster rolls in Maine, probably the best lobster roll in the world. It's so good. And that's gonna wrap up this entire day of lobster. It's been an amazing time to learn about the different aspects of lobster hard and soft shells, how they're cooked from boiled to steamed, and the process of what goes into making the best lobster roll. And I'm gonna have all the information everywhere we visited in the description box below. And also be sure to check out my friend Jeffrey Merrihue from Santa Monica. He owns Heroic Italian. If you're ever in Santa Monica, go say hi to Jeffrey. And also my friends Jessica and Brian from Cheat Day Eats. I'll have all their information in the description box below. And I wanna say a huge thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. Also click the little bell icon and that way you'll immediately get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Maine and I will see you on the next video.